AACE or the Association for the Advancement of Cost Engineering, provides a cost estimate classification system to standardize and improve cost estimation practices. AACE classifies cost estimates into five maturity levels, from Class 5 to Class 1. The slide presents the cost estimate categories, beginning with Class 5 and ending with Class 1, based on project progress. End usage, methodology, expected accuracy range, and preparation effort are secondary characteristics that are generally correlated with the level of project definition. As the class number decreases, project definition increases, and estimates become more refined. A class 5 cost estimate is conducted in the very early stages during concept screening, whereas a Class 1 cost estimate is performed at the almost final design stage. Classes 5 and 4 rely on rough estimation methods, whereas Classes 3, 2, and 1 use detailed approaches. Class 5 estimates have a wide accuracy range, while Class 1 estimates fall within a narrow range. The lower the class number, the higher the estimate accuracy. More detailed estimates require greater effort. Class 5 demands minimal effort, whereas Class 1 involves significant work. Class 5 estimates are generally prepared based on very limited information and subsequently have wide accuracy ranges. As such, some companies and organizations have elected to determine that due to the inherent inaccuracies, such estimates cannot be classified in a conventional and systemic manner. Class 5 estimates due to the requirements of end use, may be prepared within a very limited amount of time and with little effort expended, sometimes requiring less than an hour to prepare. Often, little more than proposed plant type, location, and capacity are known at the time of estimate preparation. Class 5 estimates are prepared for any number of strategic business planning purposes, such as but not limited to. Market studies, assessment of initial viability, evaluation of alternate schemes, project screening, project location studies, evaluation of resource needs and budgeting, long-range capital planning, etc. Class 5 estimates virtually always use stochastic estimating methods, such as cost capacity curves and factors, scale of operations factors, Lang factors, hand factors, Chilton factors, Peters Timmerhaus factors, Guthrie factors, and other parametric and modeling techniques. Typical accuracy ranges for Class 5 estimates are minus 20% to minus 50% on the low side, and plus 30% to plus 100% on the high side, depending on the technological complexity of the project, appropriate reference information, and the inclusion of an appropriate contingency determination. Ranges could exceed those shown in unusual circumstances. Class 4 estimates are generally prepared based on limited information and subsequently have fairly wide accuracy ranges. They are typically used for project screening, determination of feasibility, concept evaluation, and preliminary budget approval. Typically, engineering is from 1% to 15% complete, and would comprise at a minimum the following. Plant capacity, block schematics, indicated layout, process flow diagrams for main process systems, and preliminary engineered process and utility equipment lists. Class 4 estimates are prepared for a number of purposes, such as but not limited to detailed strategic planning, business development, project screening at more developed stages, alternative scheme analysis, confirmation of economic and or technical feasibility, and preliminary budget approval or approval to proceed to next stage. Class 4 estimates virtually always use stochastic estimating methods, such as equipment factors, Lang factors, hand factors, Chilton factors, Peters Timmerhaus factors, Guthrie factors, the Miller method, gross unit costs ratios, and other parametric and modeling technique. Typical accuracy ranges for class 4 estimates are minus 15% to minus 30% on the low side and plus 20% to plus 50% on the high side, 
depending on the technological complexity of the project, appropriate reference information, and the inclusion of an appropriate contingency determination. Ranges could exceed those shown in unusual circumstances. Class three estimates are generally prepared to form the basis for budget authorization, appropriation, and or funding. As such, they typically form the initial control estimate against which all actual costs and resources will be monitored. Typically, engineering is from 10% to 40% complete and would comprise at a minimum the following. Process flow diagrams, utility flow diagrams, preliminary piping and instrument diagrams, plot plan, developed layout drawings, an essentially complete engineered process and utility equipment list. Class three estimates are typically prepared to support full project funding requests and become the first of the project phase control estimates against which all actual costs and resources will be monitored for variations to the budget. They are used as the project budget until replaced by more detailed estimate. In many owner organizations, a Class three estimate may be the last estimate required and could well form the only basis for cost and schedule control. Class three estimates usually involve more deterministic estimating methods than stochastic method. They usually involve a high degree of unit cost line items, although these may be at an assembly level of detail rather than individual components. Factoring and other stochastic methods may be used to estimate less significant areas of the project. Typical accuracy ranges for Class three estimates are minus 10% to minus 20% on the low side and plus 10% to plus 30% on the high side, depending on the technological complexity of the project, appropriate reference information, and the inclusion of an appropriate contingency determination. Ranges could exceed those shown in unusual circumstances. Class II estimates are generally prepared to form a detailed control baseline against which all project work is monitored in terms of cost and progress control. For contractors, this class of estimate is often used as the bid estimate to establish contract value. Typically, engineering is from 30% to 70% complete and would include, at a minimum, process flow diagrams, utility flow diagrams, piping and instrument diagrams, heat and material balances, final plot plan, final layout drawings, complete engineered process and utility equipment list, single line diagrams for electrical, electrical equipment and motor schedules, vendor quotations, detailed project execution plans, and resourcing and workforce plans. Class II estimates are typically prepared as the detailed control baseline against which all actual costs and resources will be monitored for variations to the budget. They also form a key part of the change and variation control program. Class II estimates always involve a high degree of deterministic estimating method. They are prepared in great detail, often including tens of thousands of unit cost line items. For undefined project areas, an assumed level of detail takeoff may be developed to use as line items in the estimate, rather than relying on factoring method. Typical accuracy ranges for Class II estimates are minus 5% to minus 15% on the low side, and plus 5% to plus 20% on the high side, depending on the technological complexity of the project, appropriate reference information, and the inclusion of an appropriate contingency determination. Ranges could exceed these values in unusual circumstances. Class I estimates are generally prepared for discrete parts or sections of the total project rather than generating this level of detail for the entire project. The parts estimated at this level will typically be used by subcontractors for bids or by owners for check estimate. The updated estimate is often called the current control estimate and becomes the new baseline for cost and schedule control of the project. Class 1 estimates may be prepared to 
Create a fair price estimate. Develop a bid check estimate for comparing against contractor bid. Or to evaluate and dispute claims. Typically, engineering is 50% to 100% complete and includes virtually all engineering and design documentation, complete project execution plans, and commissioning plans. Class 1 estimates form the final control baseline against which all actual costs and resources are monitored for budget variations. They also support bid checking, vendor and contractor negotiations and claim evaluations or dispute resolution. Class 1 estimates involve the highest degree of deterministic estimating methods and require significant effort. They are prepared in extreme detail, usually focusing only on the most critical project areas. All estimate items are unit cost line items based on actual design quantity. Typical accuracy ranges for Class 1 estimates are minus 3% to minus 10% on the low side, and plus 3% to plus 15% on the high side, depending on the project's technological complexity, available reference information, and proper contingency planning. Ranges may exceed these values in unusual circumstances. The table illustrates how project maturity and data completeness evolve across AAC E5 estimate classes. The data maturity grows significantly as we move from class 5 to class 1 estimate. Starting with class 5, the conceptual phase, almost everything is just assumed or general. In class 3, the budget phase, critical items like scope, location, and schedules become defined. This is where projects typically secure funding. The biggest leap happens between Class 4 and Class 3. That's when preliminary data becomes firm. Contracting strategy gets fully defined in Class 2, which makes sense, since you can't finalize contracts until your design is mature. Higher classes mean more data, more effort, but far more precision. Class 3 is the sweet spot for funding, while Class 1 is for dispute resolution or final bid. The table shows how design maturity grows across AACE estimate classes. In Class 5, a block flow diagram is started or a preliminary version exists, but most deliverables are non-existent. By Class 4, things kick into gear. Started or preliminary versions of core documents exist, process flow diagrams, utility flow diagrams, equipment lists. In Class 3, almost all process deliverables hit preliminary or complete status. Class 2 tightens everything up. Now all process docs are complete, and discipline drawings reach preliminary or complete. Even spare parts listings appear. Finally, Class 1 is surgical precision. Every deliverable is complete except some discipline drawings might still be preliminary, showing where last-minute tweaks happen.